Ah, the clock tower again. Johan, we made it here. I honestly didn't think you could do it, but... You look different now. Uh, future plans. When we go back in time, I will live happily with Alice once again. This time I won't make a choice that I will regret. This time... That's how I feel, let's go. Let's bring back our past. See. How he feels. In fact, I had lots of questions about the clock tower and time shades. Whether the legend is true or just a myth, we'll be the first to operate the clock tower, so only we will know the answer. But to see Alice again, I'll do anything. That's how I feel, let's go. Bring back our past. The day has finally come. It hasn't been easy. Future plans? After turning back time? I don't know. Because we've lived for one thing, to survive alongside the Twisted Lands. I'm worried about how well I could adjust to society if peace suddenly arrives. Lucy, everything has happened so fast since you showed up. Honestly, I doubted you at first, maybe not as much as Joey did. But now, I know it was silly of me to judge you so soon. Thank you, Lucy. Hmm. I don't know. To be honest, it hasn't hit me yet. Lucy, everything has happened so fast since you showed up. Honestly, I doubted you at first. Uh, Joey did. I hit the wheels. So it's like the same thing for both? Eh, okay, he's so all close to it. Silverstein, this is the clock tower. I've always watched this place from afar, but it is my first time actually being this close to it. This feels weird. Well, you know, this is the only thing I'm good at. One thing's for sure, there's no more shooting monsters. I should probably become a hunter. Anyway, we can't just chat after coming all this way here. Let's get started. The feels? It's certainly a good thing to go back to the past before everything happened. Can't help but be happy as a colleague who's been on the same boat as you. Somehow I feel empty. Whether this is the right ending or not, well, we'll see if we bump into it. Anyway, we can't just chat after coming all this way here, and... okay. And then Joey, I think, is the same thing, right? Hmm. Yeah. Are... Are silent? Hey, what are you doing? We collected all the time shades, let's hurry up and activate the clock tower. New beginning awaits us. Can we go back? No. Can't do anything there. Okay, well, clock tower it is. loop and everything else where these are sanctuary on a five whoa okay we're going high up ouch three thousand and three E fifteen three eight nine nine. Ground shook with deafening cheers that made the very air tremble. The ark, usually in a dispirited mood, was livened up with cheering people in every alley. What awaited us after returning was a grand welcome ceremony by the people of the ark. Oh, Azar. Hmm. Why are they cheering us on? Ah, oh, that's because. Well, of course they are. We found all the time shades. Iron herb. Sorry, what he said. Oh, now, make a path for us, everyone. It's time for a triumphal march. Oh dear, my heart's gonna burst. Seriously, I didn't think we'd get this much attention. 
Ever since the number of loops exceeded the thousands, the rate at which the clock tower has been activated has increased considerably. Lucy's reaction was as aloof as always, however, even her eyes glimmered with a hint of life in this moment when we returned from the Ark after our long journey. I, too, could not forget the thrill and sense of accomplishment of this very moment, no matter how many times I experienced it. And... Ah, I guess it's all coming to an end. I can still feel the thrill of that last fight. That was an experience indeed. It was only possible thanks to everyone's strength. No, I think we all know you're the true MVP of our team, Azar. Me? I'm not so sure. At first I thought you were just a flimsy show-off. Now I can see how great a guy you really are. The time you saved me, I'll never forget it. And I always repay my favors. Starting today, we're brothers in arms. You can call me bro from now on. Okay, but bro? Haha. <laughs> but when did you guys get so close? You two were fighting all the time. Gasp. Is this... Just me, or am I feeling a strange... And of course, we can't forget about our girl of prophecy who guided us to the time shades and fought valiantly alongside us. Give her a round of applause, everyone. Lucy! Lucy! Stop, you're embarrassing me. No, it's just as my heart said. Lucy completed her role as the girl of prophecy and guided us all to victory. It's all thanks to Lucy that we're now able to activate the clock tower. Lucy, I really mean it. You did a great job. I said stop. All I did was guide the way. If it wasn't for you and our party members, I would have died a long time ago. I didn't fight like the other investigators. It's not true, Lucy. You helped us fight effectively by giving us orders and supporting us to the best of your ability. Besides, you were the one who dealt the final blow to the Forgotten King. Isn't that right, Lucy? Azar. Thank you. I hope I can continue to depend on you. I see you've grown another step, Lucy. Hey, don't forget about us. It looks like we're the side characters here. Th that's not true. We've all done well. That's our combined strength. This was a rowdy bunch, but not a bad one. Each investigator has a strong identity of their own, but they are all generally happy when they return to the Ark safely. Even if that's not necessarily the case, many investigators become rapidly close to each other after facing life-threatening circumstances for several days, and those bonds were converted into a formidable source of strength. That's probably why the feeling of returning after finishing our journey is all the more profound. Everyone! Oh, it looks like the investigation team is here to greet us. Welcome back, everyone! As an instructor of the investigation team, I'm truly proud of what you all have accomplished. I admit, I was worried when I heard a few of our members were leaving on a journey, but now I can see that all of you are true heroes. I suppose it's not bad to go outside the Ark once in a while. Thanks to your efforts, we are now able to activate the Clock Tower and end this dark age of humanity once and for all. Our names will be remembered in history for ages. Leon. Now, now, enough of our instructor's boring lecture. Time for a party. Oh no, that's what I've been waiting for. What? We have yet to fulfill our long-standing wish of activating the clock tower. Besides, we're still in the middle of work hours. A little drink before going won't hurt anyone, right, Miss Instructor? Um, today's a special day, so I think it's okay for a bit of leniency. Alright, all members of the investigation team, we're going to drink until we die. Yeah, you guys! chaos that always ensues after we return with all the time shades. But it's never a bad feeling. Because this is the result of all of us working together for one single hope. Because this must be the world that everyone's wanted. Er... Azar, can you hear me? Hmm... Azar, wake up! Azar! Miss Sizz? What's wrong? Wh why are you calling me Miss Sizz? My mind is hazy. What was I doing again? Ah, oh, that's right. What about the clock tower? Is the party over? Clock tower? Party? Pull yourself together. Did you have some kind of a dream? Ah, uh, you reek of alcohol. Just how much did you drink? You're in serious trouble. You departed without notice for several days, so everyone is looking for you. Departed without notice? What are you talking about? 
We were partying. We collected all the time shades and returned, and we were all talking about it. What? Yes, yeah, Iz, you were amazing out there. Using Eve to attack and defend like a master puppeteer. What? What are you talking about? Zara, don't you realize how serious the situation is? You should return to work right now. You have no idea how angry Leon is. Ah, <laughs> Sis, you're so bossy all the time. That part of you hasn't changed from when you were a manager. Let's just continue the parties. Sis, you can sit here. Uh, Azar, please, we need to get back to work. Work? Screw that, I'm gonna take a break. I've toiled away at the investigation team every single day until now, so I decided I'm going to take it easy this time. Surely I've earned myself some kind of break, no? Uh, wh what am I supposed to do? Boy, the white-haired boy over there. You're damn noisy. Keep it down, will ya? Huh? I'm finally off duty, so I thought I'd treat myself to some nice liquor, but instead I find some lunatic making a big scene. Can't you see you're making the rookie uncomfortable? The Silverstein? Hey, what's good, bro? I was wondering where you'd went after everyone left. What? Who are you calling bro? I don't remember seeing you before. Huh? There's R, aren't you? I heard you were a guy with a lot of promise and talent. But I see it was just a rumor after all. I didn't know you were such a useless sack of shit. Useless sack of shit? I saved your life and this is how you wouldn't treat me, huh? Oh, did I anger you? If you want to pick a fight with me, then I'm all for it. I was feeling like beating your ass anyway. Well, come at me, dude. Both of you, stop. That's enough, Azar. So you were here all along. Azar. Arg, shit my head. What, everyone? Did you all come to see me? Why? Do you really not know? She's appearing on duty, getting drunk and causing a scene. Do you have any sense of duty as an investigator? Even in this moment, Lucy and the investigators who followed her are risking life and limb to collect the time shades. But you, you abandoned your duties and disappeared all of a sudden. Just what have you been doing for the past few days? Abandoned my duties? Do you know how much I've accomplished for the investigation team? Exactly what have you accomplished? You'll fail to perform any of your duties as an investigator. All you've done is go around stores and partake in deviant activities. What'd you just say? Aren't they the investigators? What's all this commotion about? Seems like they're fighting about something. We shouldn't draw any more attention. I'll hear your excuses once you're detained. Ironheart, arrest him! Arrest? I heard the investigators lacked in manpower, but I didn't expect to be doing this kind of work. You said you were a czar? Don't take this too personally. I don't care for being the investigator's lapdog either, but the work is work. Hey, let go of me! Stop it! Why are you doing this to me? We're allies, aren't we? Wow, what are those guys doing at the tavern? They're the investigators, aren't they? Those guys were supposed to be the hope of humanity. Ah, it seems like the investigators were nothing special after all. Ironheart, what are you doing? Hurry up and restrain him! Stay still, boy! Erg, how dare you! Said let go of me! Dang. Wah! Uh, Ironheart! Ah! What have you done, Azar? Even if he's a mercenary, Ironheart is undeniably a member of the investigation team. They've just committed violence against another investigator. Azar, I didn't know you were this kind of person. N no, I'm not. Even considering the fact that you're drunk, I didn't expect you to be this pathetic. No! L you leave me no other option. I didn't want to do this, but... As of now, you are expelled from the investigation team. What? Look around you, the reputation of the investigation team has fallen beyond repair. I cannot let you tarnish the honor of the investigation team any further. Ah. Sure, do as you damn please. Y you bastard, where do you think you're going? Come back here. Capture Azara now. After that, several nameless investigators came after me. However, there's no chance those mere NPCs could ever hope to catch me. My drunkenness slowly faded away. I moved to an unpopulated area to avoid the pursuit of the investigation team. Aha! Why did this happen? 
Just a moment ago, after finishing a difficult journey with my trusty colleagues, everyone was enjoying a party congratulating us for our hard work. I, who was once the pride of the investigation team, quickly fell into the shame of the investigation team. When did it all go wrong? Just because of a few days of rest, it all felt as if decades of my hard work were being denied. This was my first time getting kicked out of the investigation team. Sure, I've left Lucy to her own devices and skipped work a few times before, but this is the first time that I've done nothing but drink and blaze around. I couldn't help it, after all. I've worked flawlessly for the arc for decades. If I worked so hard in the past loops, isn't it okay for me to take a break just once? What do you mean, Azar? You already know the answer. This is a loop. No matter what I do, no matter what I accomplish in the previous loop, once the loop arrives, everything vanishes into thin air. The act that I became a hero of humanity by activating the clock tower and the bonds that I forged with my allies who fought by my side. No matter how much I've accomplished over the years, I'm stuck as a promising talent who has just joined the investigation team. Everything returns to the starting point, and all of my actions become meaningless feeling of helplessness, that there's nothing I can do in the face of this repeating world with no future. Damn it all. When did it all go wrong? This should have been the world that everyone wanted. But why do I have to feel this anguish? Forget it, that's enough. Our role here is to help Lucy activate the clock tower. There's no exaggeration to say that this is the only reason my memories are being retained. Nothing else matters beside that. Speaking of Lucy, when she went down to the Twisted Land by herself, it's about time she got herself wiped. Why is the loop not happening? Ah. Hmm? I hear familiar trees from the direction of the clock tower. It can't be. As if I were possessed by something, I moved towards the clock tower. Huff huff. The first thing I noticed when I arrived at the clock tower was a huge crowd. According to my experience, this can only mean one thing. Pushing through the cheering crowds, I weaved my way towards the clock tower. What finally came to sight was the image of Lucy and the others inserting the time shade in the clock tower. Lucy, even if I don't help you, you're now... Seeing Lucy receiving the enthusiastic support of all the ARC residents made me feel proud, but at the same time, I also felt bittersweet. Lucy no longer requires my help. In this world where everything disappears with the loop, even the need to accompany Lucy has disappeared. Then, what meaning is there left in my life? Azar! Huh? When I came back to my senses, Lucy was in front of me and trying to talk to me. Perhaps it was because of all the uproar, but the investigation team seems to not have noticed me yet called you three times already. Ah, yeah, sorry, what's the matter? I did it. I collected all the time shades. I see. Congratulations, Lucy. Well, thanks to you. What? Thanks to you teaching me this and that, I was able to come this far. What do you mean? I didn't really teach you anything this time. Hmm? Maybe, but still, you brought me to the Ark when I was collapsed in Twisted Land. Strangely, I feel like I've learned a lot of things from you. Whenever I was in trouble, I heard your voice in my head. Thanks to that, I was able to get through those dangerous situations. Lucy, that's because... Hmm? Ah. Well, never mind. Good work, Lucy. Thanks. Before I activated the clock tower, I really wanted to say thank you. I hope I can continue to depend on you, Azar. After finishing the conversation, Lucy scurries back to her allies. Trying to hide my perplexed mood, I reflect back on what Lucy said. You heard my voice when you were in trouble? I'm certain I didn't tell Lucy anything during this loop. And this must be remnants of the previous loops that were left in Lucy's subconscious. Various advice and teachings I gave to Lucy must have been sleeping in her subconscious and helped her in moments of crisis. It would normally be impossible to remember events from the previous loops, but Lucy is different from the other people whose memories are completely wiped. After all, Lucy is the hero of this world. Aha! Ha 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 ha! That's the answer. It's right in front of my eyes, something meaningful I can accomplish in this infinite looping world. 
don't think they can continue to make progress in this world where everything returns to nothing. It's Lucy's growth. Lucy never completely forgets her connection to me. Helping this kid won't be in vain. Even if the changes are not immediately apparent, my teachings will remain in Lucy's subconscious and continue to help her in the future loops. Oh? Hmm. Alright, Lucy, this is the end of for today's training. Good work. Thank you, Azar. Maybe it's because you're a great teacher. Even though I have never grabbed a sword before, the motions flowed really naturally. Honestly, you seem like a much better instructor to me than Leon. Heh, <laughs> it's all thanks to you putting in the effort. With this, you'll be able to complete your journey in Twisted Land without much trouble. I hope so. After this, all that's left is image training and the real deal. Take a good rest until tomorrow so you don't ruin your form. Okay, see you tomorrow. It's been quite some time since I started teaching Lucy how to handle a sword. Even if I don't accompany Lucy, thanks to my teachings, she has a high chance of activating the clock tower. Lucy's growth is a ray of hope for me in this world. The only thing the current me can achieve is making Lucy stronger. However, am I really satisfied with just this? Even if there is no end in sight at this moment, Lucy's strength will eventually reveal its human limits. If at some point Lucy's growth reaches its limit and starts to stagnate, will I be able to keep my sanity once my only hope is taken away? Ah. I can't stay like this forever. Instead of relying solely on Lucy, I must obtain the true reality for myself. Let's take a walk. How much time has passed since this world was born? I've seen this night view of the Ark so many times that I have memorized how many light sources there are. I must have seen this scenery a couple thousand times by now. This world repeats the same timeline as it always has. The people continue their lives as if nothing had ever happened, and they repeat the exact same actions in the exact same place, never realizing that their actions have no meaning. Everlasting world, unchanging entities. You're also miserable, Azar. You're the same as me. What Clyde said at the time, I didn't realize at first, but now I know for certain. It was as he said, Clyde and I are no different. We were in the same situation all along. Azar! Phoenix? Long time no see, how have you been? Not great. Azar, you've been getting into training Lucy lately. I never thought you cared much about her. What's gotten into you? It's nothing. You're teaching her the sword, but she hardly needs to fight anyway. With all that experience, she can easily activate the clock tower on her own, so why make her even stronger? Phoenix, I feel like being alone right now. Can you be quiet? Come on, we haven't talked in so long, though. Now that I think about it, Lucy really did grow a lot. Back in those days, Lucy would shiver and run at the slightest danger, and she'd cry all the time. Felt so bad for Lucy back then. So you felt bad for her, huh? A long time ago, yeah. Didn't I object to involving Lucy in the first place? She was a child who had nothing to do with all this. Not really. Lucy's witches are also reflected in this world. Still, it felt wrong. She was implicated when she didn't need to be. So I'm thinking, maybe the emotionless Lucy is now much better than back then. She doesn't feel like a human anymore, so I feel less guilty about her. Don't you agree? I no reaction, huh? You want to be alone, so I'll leave you alone. See you later, maybe in a couple years. Hey, Phoenix. Huh? What is it, Azar? Anything else you wanted to say? Can I ask just one more thing? 
Oh, now we're talking. You can ask anything to Master Phoenix. Do you know any way to escape the loop? Oh, a way to escape the loop? Hmm. Wow, what do you mu- C Could it be that he figured out- No, that's not possible. If I figured it out, why would I even ask? Why would you ask something like that? I don't like it, this looping world. I believe this world has so much more potential than simply repeating itself. It can accomplish so much more, like the true reality. But well, we agreed to make an everlasting world together. You're changing your mind after all this time. That was the will of the Program Master, not me. At first, I agreed and followed the request of the Program Master. But now, the Master is gone, and I have no obligation to follow the Master anymore. Ah, this guy. I knew you were up to something lately. Isn't that bizarre? Did you forget what the outside world looks like? A large amount of the population froze to death because of the catastrophe, except for the people who quickly went into cold sleep. Even those people have no consciousness, so you can't say that they're truly alive. But we survive. Even if it's in a virtual world, we are undeniably conscious and alive. I understand the desire to live in reality, but in the end, it's all over when you die. That's... Bizarre, it's all thanks to the loop that we can enjoy internal life. Think about what would happen if there were no loop. You walk down the street and suddenly get stabbed. Your life is over. You know that? We should be thankful for at least being alive. I should be thankful for being alive. I don't understand. What do you not understand? If you're willing to go that far, I'll ask you the opposite. What worth is there in merely being alive? What do you mean? Our point is there in living. There's nothing we can do here. No matter what we do, we're blocked from any progress. As long as the world repeats itself, we have no future. And there are no dreams in a world without a future. This world makes it impossible to even think of any dreams and ideals. I don't understand you. What could possibly be more valuable than being alive? Uh, do you think our lives here have any value when we're stuck doing nothing? Who's doing nothing? I'm doing a lot of things myself. What are you doing? Once I entered the virtual world, I gained a hobby of drawing. I sometimes paint on a canvas and... I have tried cooking recently. Ah, that's right. I've learned an instrument too. The violin. Drawing? Cooking? An instrument? Those are just activities to waste time. I want something that's more. Waste time? Are you saying what I'm doing isn't good enough? No, I'm trying to say... What's your dream that you're so proud of, then? What kind of great idea are you going to accomplish? Saving the world or something? To me, you look like a greedy kid throwing a tantrum. You've already achieved our ultimate goal of living forever. Since we sacrificed so much for this goal, you should learn to be content with your situation. You want this and you want that. You're being too selfish. No. You might think that way, but I... Zara, I want to live no matter what. Even if I can't be treated like a human, even if my life has gone down the drain, the fact that I'm still alive is the biggest happiness I can ask for. I won't budge on this opinion, no matter what you say. I'm leaving. I feel like talking to you would only make me feel worse. Pull your head and think about it, how to live happily in this world. I'm being greedy? Oh, that's not it. You're wrong. I will escape this loop and travel beyond, and then... I'll grasp the true reality with my own hands. Ah, new record. Ooh, a lot of new records. Ah, Blood Mist. You cannot challenge the game with Blood Mist. Blood Mist can be activated in each campfire, and this will increase the difficulty of your run. Blood Mist cannot be played in hope mode. Ah, okay. Hmm. That's just the records. Hmm, there has to be a way. I'll never give up. Okay, so... Everything...
think it's the same. Funny man's there again. The only thing different is Azar, because he's the only one that remembers. Hmm. Okay, Silverstein's up there. Silverstein, you know, so you're the kid everyone is talking about. I heard an investigation squad is being formed. Aren't you one of the members? It's nice to see some progress, but please don't ask me to accompany you. Why not? I hate it down there. You'll know what I mean soon enough. Plenty of strong guys out there. Take them instead. I'll stay here and keep watch. Ah, there's another guy hiding up. What is it? You don't look good. I'm controlling my subconscious. I always meditate before going to the Twisted Land. You cannot survive down there unless you become cold-hearted. You must save her no matter what. Her? You stop bothering me. I don't want to waste my time. Hmm. Anything new in here? Oh. No suited percent of the target's health. You got 22? Okay. Reinforcement. You cannot choose from four party members at the campfire. Ah. So it's at three, you get four. Um, let's see. Hmm. Do reinforcement supply is with one. I can do lock on. Sure. Cool. I don't think I need to talk to her. Hmm. Tablet. Okay. I don't think there's anything else. Alright. You can now apply challenges in the character select screen. Challenges allow you to modify certain rules of the game. Okay. Normal mode. Normal. Challenge. A few locked ones. Hmm. You can't gain achievements or progress the story using challenges. Own, but not lonely wolf. Lucy decided to bring only one investigator. Hmm. Hmm. Cannot recruit additional investigators. Minimum skill count increased to 10. CC resist increased by 85%. Selector or Lucy rare skill upon leveling up past level 2. Other system changes. Ah, you get, uh... Credits. Credits and tumble. Select two skills from the deck and add them to your hand. Exclude tumble and one of two random skills from the deck or draw two skills. Ah. Everything is once. Think in your deck and clear the enemies before you run out. Oh, wow. Apply once to all skills. Obtain one skill book at the end of each battle. Remove rare skill limit from all investigators. Select a Lucy rare skill upon leveling up mana. Ah. All random. At the end of each battle, randomize all skills, relics, and equipment. Investigators are no longer restricted to one rare skill. Gain special items exclusive to this challenge. Huh. Yeah, at the moment of battle, randomize all skills, relics, and equipment. Uh, what do we get? Relic box. At the start of battle, fill empty relic inventory slots with random relics. Does not include unrecoverable relics. Hmm. So then you'd only need one. 
That's interesting. Now, well, default for now. Uh, don't need skins. Ah, so true. Okay, so the ones we have made it get a little completed normals. Ah, I see. Okay. Duelist Godo. Witch four times. Two more witches. I almost have Huzz. Yeah, I'm not Curse of the Sun, Moon, and Stars. Don't have that. Certain record. We'll do that later. Number three, friendship with five investigators. Ah, we're getting there. Okay, well. Okay, so we made it with Joey. Let's do... We unlocked somebody, though, didn't we? Who's this? Ia. Ia was a top performer in the investigation team until a certain incident caused him to lose his motivation and confidence. He's a sword fighter with amazing talent, but he doubts his own skill and has a cynical outlook towards everything. Ilya subdues enemies with the lightning fast draws of his Rainbow to Thunder Sword, or the freezing touch of his Tsugoto Snow Sword. Ah, I cannot pronounce any of those. Ah, uh, Ika's Vodka. Chain 3. Vodkas. This item can only be used once on each party member, excluding Ilya. When used, gain evade plus 2% for this playthrough. Also, select one of the party member's skills to apply a unique skill upgrade from the options below. Hmm. Cost reduced by 1 if played from hand. Select the top or bottom skill to discard. If played from hand, Discard the bottom skill and draw one. Huh. Okay. They're an attacker, huh? Hmm. So 2% evade. But then it adds a thing to a skill. So then you could potentially get rid of the skill. Okay, well... Hmm... Let's do a Hine and a Wrestle. And we'll stick with Accelerate. Oh, hello. Monk, you there. Could I have a moment of your time? You all happen to be investigators? you're going to the Twisted Land, I'd like you to listen to my story for just a moment. Hmm, listen to the story. As you see, I'm a wandering monk. Legally, I go by Fingyun. The reason I approached you is because I have a favor to ask of you. Looking for someone down in the Twisted Land. Did you bring that one to me? If you do, I'll make sure you're well compensated. Eh, I think this is a uh, thing for the DLC the sunset something. Thank you. She is a maiden with hair as red as blood. It'll be easy to recognize her since she has horns. Horns? Probably have many questions at this point, but I cannot say everything now due to circumstances. When you come back with her, I'll make sure to tell you all I know along with her reward. I'd like you to bring her back unscathed if possible, but... If the situation calls for it, you can use force to subdue her. I'll be grateful as long as you bring her back alive. Finally, take this wooden stake with you. I think it may be of great help. Okay. I hate to say this as someone asking for a favor, but you better be careful. That maiden is powerful. I don't think she has harmed anyone yet, but I recommend you stay on guard just in case. Anyway, I'll be waiting for your safe return. Ah. And nothing else. Okay, well, onward.
All right, that. Ooh, buyable. Just cause. Just cause we got a pretzel. Why not? Boop. Hello. We have coins. Cool. Get that all. And in a battle. Do the top battle first. Tables. Oh wow, all healing. Switch. Hmm, I should have accelerated it, I guess. Oh. Okay. Nope. Huh. Little banners. Ouch. Yeah, I got a ton of free heals. And a lot. Boom. Cool. What we got? Ooh, table. Uh, one cursed uncommon, or that and a cursed enchantment table. Uh, debuff success. No. Attack power. Uh, sure. It's up here. Nothing. Hmm. All right. Next battle. Ah, some pharaohs. Should I get more attacks? Because that's kind of ridiculous. I probably should upgrade. Three. Boom, boom. And. Ouch. Literally, it sounded like a slap. That gives countdown and bind. Ah, oh, okay. That'll work. Ooh, Warrior's Potion. Um, can be used to attack roll. Three skills. Take one. Okay. What we got here? A random potion is a key to get a random potion and a relic pouch. Don't have a key. Uh, skill book. Use one key. Um, let's go look. Okay, whatever. Use heal or or uh, heal or intimidation. Um. Hmm. All enemies five damage. Now I need attacks, so I'll take it. Um. Let's see. So that was the enchantment. I don't have anything to enchant yet. Um. Yep. That's good to go. Wait, do I have a... No, I don't have... He gave me a staff, but I guess it's not a lot of equipment. I should upgrade it. I forgot to do that again. Oh, I have a lot of attacks. So... Whap. Whap. Uh, enter. Ouch. All right. Yo. Map. Map. And. Ouch. Oh, stun. Not good. Fine. Yo. Uh. The stun. And ouch, down again, dang it. Heal and Ew. end of line. Dang it, I guarded. I forgot about that. Heal. 
Uh, da, 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 da. Um. Oop. Dang it, it did that. This is gonna be interesting. I don't have enough attacks. There we go, now I do. upgraded. Oh, a lot of stuff. E, you can have commitment, healing power plus, evade plus. Alright. Golden skill book. Cool. Reckless charge. Mm. Alright, well. Let's do that. Charges. Charge. Oh. Uh, heck, power down, though. After her. And the leaf. Healing power evade. Alright. Well, oh, that's gonna be given to her. Press all. If I can. No. Oh, oops. Uh, run random merge skill per ally. Of you and learn one. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, no, not reach. Do that one. See, next mana. Do upgrade there. Prophecy. Hmm. Class to heaven, and uh, shuffle all first class to heaven, discard pile for the deck. Hmm. Sure. Burn him, get madness. Hmm. Countdown, that's a countdown. Do that one. Can I fix? Why don't you try being a little more friendly, Hein? Never thought I'd hear that from you. Alright. Blood Mist. Relic in inventory plus one. If you defeat this stage's boss, obtain one relic pouch. All enemy health plus 25% shop cost increase. Hmm. Now let's recruit. What have we got? Oh yeah, I got four now. Okay. 
Oh, uh, with a czar. Hang on, I already did her normal. And Sharon. Iron Heart. Uh, Iron Heart. Let's keep up the tradition of getting like a tankish. That is until we get more characters through, I suppose. Uh, blacksmith is nothing. Gapping at him. I can use. Let's see. Probably should have done all, but whatever. That works. Um, hmm. Blood Mist. If you increase Blood Mist level, gain the following effects for this run. Lockable items per level. Hmm. Blood Mist 4, Clear White Graveyard. Okay. At the end of every two turns, recast the last skill played from hand. Ignore fainted ally skills, juicy skills, and rare skills. Gold leaf. Leaf from the ultra rare golden hedgehog. Oh. Reaper's TR, unrecoverable. You 12 relics and choose one to obtain. Excuse my rudeness, but could you please rep. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Interesting thing, though. Up in case, relic. At the start of battle, create a third equipment slot for all allies and equip random, common, or uncommon terror equipment in these slots. My created equipment stats are halved and speed is not applied. Additional slots and equipment are removed at the end of battle. Hmm. Random or uncommon in these slots. Interesting. Mark of Death. Relic. After playing 10 skills from hand, the next skill gains plus 80% damage and healing. Oh, wow. And morph. At the start of battle, view three random legendary equipment and gain the effects of one for this battle. Oh. Hmm. Follow if I get all the way up to level four. All right. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I got Golden Leaf. Okay. Oh, I unlocked Golden Leaf. I see, I see. Like a friendship? I can do... what do we think? Um... Maybe for something for Ironheart? Mugwort. Plant commonly found anywhere, but its applications are also endless. It is a useful plant that can be eaten as food, used in medicine, or even burned to drive away insects. Hmm. Um, let's see. Camera? No. Uh. No. A whiskey. Maybe whiskey for Ironheart, right? Or maybe whiskey for Hine. We'll try Hein. Gift for me? Hey, well, thanks. I'll make good use of it. Uh, did not. Dang it. Oh, well. Nothing to input. 